Hello everybody, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization VI as the Aztecs. Uh, we are just getting ready for our war here. We have 20 turns left until we can actually go in. Although that might be a little bit faster if we can actually buy our observation balloon. Uh, we can, for about a thousand gold. Uh, you know what? Big Ben's not coming in any, you know, reasonable amount of time, so let's just do this. There we go. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll attach him to the, uh, the Bombard. And uh, we'll be able to shoot one tile further, which is very, very cool. Uh, I think what I want to do is actually shift these guys down. So that I can fit the other Bombard in right there. Oh, what? Why did you uh, break apart? Okay. Uh, and then you are still coming over this way. We're getting there. We are getting there. So ten turns uh, until we declare war now. So we cut that in half. It's perfect. Looks like Norway loves me. Same with uh, Scythia here. Boy, are they in for a rude awakening once I've taken out the rest of the continent. <laughs> uh, Norway expands, uh, adding the city of Bjarkoy. Bjarkoy. How do you say that? That O. That's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> what else is new? All right. Uh, production in Rio. What did you finish? You finished an armory, I believe. Um, well, we could work on anything. We could work on an industrial zone, an aqueduct, a entertainment club. Oh, aerodrome. Perfect. Why not? Uh, let's build this out in the desert because there's not much out here uh, to really work on. Cool. I have a cost supply to declare colonial war on Victoria. Why is that? Oh, Colonial War is because she's an era or two behind me, right? I think so. Hang on. What is Colonial War? <laughs> I'm forgetting. Uh, Cause Belai, Colonial War. Use declared war on a power that is two technology eras behind you. So I have that on Norway as well, right? Oh, I almost did something down there. Um, no, I can't. Why? <laughs> Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense because she's right next to uh, Norway down here. England and Norway are in the Renaissance era. I'm a little bit confused here. So Scythia, I should be able to then, right? No. Maybe I have to be enemies with them? I, I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, well, regardless. Alright, um, I do want to heal, but I also want to see what's going on over here. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll just keep healing. Oh, ah, shit. I wanted to go over here. I wanted to upgrade my horse. Okay, uh, you are going to work on a campus or something. I don't know exactly what you're going to build yet, but we'll wait. It looks like we can send some envoys out. So, it's probably going to be... How many do we have? We have two. So we can actually make Amsterdam, uh... A Suzerain, hopefully, and then... Oh, actually, Brussels would be nice. But Amsterdam would be uncontested. So if we get them, we get them for good. I Oh, oh, oh! I saw coal right here. I can't reach that. One, two, three, four, five. I can technically reach it with my city, but it has to spread out there on its own. I can't interfere with that. So that's probably not going to happen. Shit. Ah, well. Um, Yeah, Amsterdam. Cool. Uh, yep, just fortify. You, though, are going to move all the way up here so we can upgrade you. I'm sorry, what? Are knights completely separate? Where, where are knights? <laughs> Let's just sit right there. Why are... Oh, because they're heavy cavalry, and horsemen are light, I believe. Where... Horsemen? Yeah. Shit. Well, just heal there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll just wait the six turns, then. All right. Observation balloon. Attach. So, you can now... Well, we can't shoot anything yet, but you can now shoot up to, uh... Three tiles away. 
That's cool. Oh, this is great. Okay, um, bombard, just, uh, fortify. Choose production in Vilnius. We can build a workshop to kind of bring down the Great Zimbabwe. Yeah, we'll build a workshop and then we'll do that. Hopefully that'll bring it down enough. Okay, we can claim a great person. Who's it going to be? Charles Darwin, a great scientist. Nice. Uh, we're not that close with the... Oh, wow. Oh, we're making 15 great general points per turn. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uncontested. <laughs> um, we're making 7 great admiral points. We could do better. We could do better with that one. It looks like we might have a chance at uh, Gustav Eiffel for Great Engineer. Great Merchant, we're definitely going to grab. Uh, so John Spilsbury. And grants one toys, which is a, a uniquely manufactured luxury resource, which provides four amenities. Well, I think that's just every resource, but <laughs> that's nice. All right, well, either way, Charles Darwin. Gain 500 science on standard speed for each natural wonder tile here or adjacent. Let's send you on over to Everest. Right? Yeah. If we go there, then we got, what, two? That should be good. Okay. Uh, choose production in Sparta. I was going to do something here, I think. I was going to build a trader. The natural history of this archipelago is very remarkable. It seems to be a little world within itself. That just scared the absolute shit out of me. Oh my god. Oh. Christ. Okay. I wasn't expecting that noise. Uh, the Galapagos Islands. Perfect. I, we also see Norway over here as well. Um, Charles Darwin. Perfect timing. Nice. Okay, so what, what does the Galapagos give you? Two tile natural, uh, two tile impassable natural wonder. It appears on coastal terrain and provides two science to adjacent tiles. God damn, that is insane. I'm trying to do this. Holy shit! Look at that. That's that's juicy right there. That those these are some juicy beakers, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Oh my god. I mean, luckily we're not going for a science game because we're already winning uh but if oh that would be amazing spawning next to that okay so it looks like we're all on the same freaking continent besides skidia here will you allow us an embassy in your capital yes i will if only you would accept it a long time ago i mean christ where are you oh that's only one way really no 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 that's not how this works yeah okay thank you you are right there all right, uh, what about Scythia? Oh, shit, wrong one. Come on. Yes, perfect. All right, so there's that. Uh, I still have not met Russia yet, but someone killed him. Or, no. D wait, did, no, I don't think he's dead. No, he's not dead. He's got to be around here somewhere. I mean, we are exploring, so we'll see him, but we got to meet him. All right, uh, you are going to work on another caravel, actually. And T-Yo is going to work on a granary. Sparta 2. Pokrovka actually would be quite a lot of gold, although we don't need the gold, really. We're making 160 uh, per turn anyway. Brussels, going to Brussels, that gives us 10, but the production is what I care about. Actually, the culture. I would want some more culture. So, go to Kamasi. Uh, we can also work on two more. Oh, I'm sorry. That was already one that we had. We haven't even built this one yet. All right. So, it uh, looks like Charles Darwin has made it to Everest. So, give us a thousand... Yeah, a thousand uh, science. No one starts a war. Or rather, no one in his senses ought to do so without first being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war and how he intends to conduct it. Great, so that gives us the uh, military science tech, which uh, unlocks the military academy, which is 25% more combat experience uh, for all land units trained and faster core and army training. Okay, uh, so three production, that's what I really like about, uh, you know, about this. Um, 
One housing, one citizen slot, and one great general point per turn. Also, cavalry. So, uh, you are already there, so we'll upgrade you. To... I, I don't understand this sometimes. I really don't. Um, right, tech. I could go into ballistics just to finish that off and then head into rifling. It's not necessary, but we can do it. So that'll be... Oh, wow. Oh, that's... Oh, hang on. Before we do that, then, let's jump into chemistry. Because we're working off of the uh, the uh, Charles Darwin bonus. So things are going to be a little bit cheaper for us. So if we grab chemistry, we'll grab the AT crew, which we, we can upgrade the pikemen to. Uh, and also research labs, which push us even further with science. Five science, uh, more slots for citizens, uh, and great scientist points per turn. That is insane. We're almost up into rocketry. Damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Keep coming. One more down, then you're good. Again, I would like to core these guys. Uh, but... We just need, um... We just need to wait. I, I really don't want to waste their promotions. Because I don't know if it wastes them, right? I don't know if... I, I have two promotions on this guy that I spent a long time working it's on. It's the Industrial Revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. Receive 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood district. Interesting. That's a weird freaking policy. Uh, very specific policy, might I add. Uh, military research, military academies and seaports generate one science. Cool. Um, but what was I talking about? Right, yeah, I don't know if it'll waste the promotions on these guys. That's what I'm saying. So, I'll, I'll just build totally new musketmen in uh, Birmingham once I can. Civic. Right, so I think I wanted to go into natural history. You could build me an aerodrome as well. Although you don't have an encampment. Well, an encampment doesn't matter, I suppose. You could build a neighborhood. Give us give us a lot of freaking housing down here. Holy shit, that's a lot. Plus six. Although I could build it right here as well. Uh, yeah, build it right next to the city. It'll be our first neighborhood. Uh, Sempoala. Again, um, I don't know what I want to build here. I could build an aerodrome so that it could help us out in the fight against London. I could also build an encampment. In fact, I I'm not going to build an aerodrome because, I mean, it's going to take us a long time to actually produce buildings or units for that aerodrome. So, possibly something. Well, not possibly. I need to build something else. But there's nothing else that will work for us here. I could build a harbor, but I don't want to. Industrial zone. Screw it. We need more production. I'll build it over here. All right, let's go over here and actually work on that. So it's at what? 42 turns down to 33. We'll do it one more time. So it'll bring it probably down to like 23 ish. That's the best we're going to get. All right, upgrade you to a cavalry unit. Which actually gave us the envoy with Amsterdam. Cool. One more down. And we are in position. So, three turns, we declare war. We met uh, Jakarta. Look at that. Oh, and... Oh, Lisbon. <laughs> Wonderful. Scythia took over uh, Lisbon. Excuse you. That's not allowed. Oh my god, we are super powered now. Look at that. Come on down here. Alright, you're gonna run home. We don't need you over here anymore. Uh, in fact, you're gonna run all the way home. Like, to the front line home. Yeah. Okay, uh, university here in Sparta? I think so. We could build Rare Valley, actually. 30% production in this city, and plus one production for each mine and quarry uh, as well in the city. Uh, must be built along a river adjacent to an industrial zone with a factory. That's certainly possible. Probably right here. So that we can still build another mine, probably. Right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, right here. That'll work. 
another traitor. Let's give... You know what? I want to send it over to Sampoala. To give that a little bit more production. Just one? Really? It's better than nothing, I guess. It's down to 13. Your delegate, Chimali, learned that Norway has adopted the economic policy at colonial taxes. Well, enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does, but enjoy it. Uh, I, I'm still confused as to where Peter is. He is... He's got to be up here somewhere. You know what? I'm going to switch you. You're going to go uh, manually from now on. You need to explore this coastline. Now, see, England's up here, but that's not Russia. Where the freak is he? He has to be out... I mean, maybe he's down here. That's also possible. Okay, uh, Fortaleza, you're going to work on Big Ben. Uh, I think there's not much else we can really do besides just work on it. So, here we go. It's going to take you a hell of a... Well, 41 turns. It dropped, like, what? 13 turns for some reason? And that is a safety hazard. You got to... Take a look at that. Alright, uh, kill him. Nice. Oh, this is a cakewalk. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright. We're, we're leaving the, uh, the melee range, right? We're going strictly into guns. You have so few troops. Right, I might have so few troops, but, I mean, they're, they're powerful. And they're much powerful than you. You're in the Renaissance still, or something like that. So, shut up. <laughs> we have a Eureka Towards uh, rapid deployment. With air bases now spanning the globe, our military is ready to be deployed anywhere in the world at a moment's notice. Why is this? Oh, we completed the aerodrome. Oh, all right. Perfect. Archaeological Museum. We are going to work on natural history, so that'll kind of tie in together. Um, but, ugh, come on. I'm trying to get over to, uh, Rio. Uh, sewer. Right, so hangar is going to be in 13 turns, but that's 25% combat experience for planes. So I think I want this first, no matter what. Yeah, but we, we finally have an airport, so that's cool. Okay, uh, yeah, Military Academy first, and then we'll build out of that a bunch of uh, musketmen. Yeah, ten turns each. It's not worth to do it right now, so just uh, build me this. But we have the Bombard that we're going to send over here, and it has three range. So, there we go. We can now declare war. Well, next turn. Um, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, cleaning up this area, like I said. It's working phenomenally. You're coming back from what? I, I don't like how it does not tell me where it came back from. Like, the same with uh, when it's finished with the building. I, I want it to tell me what, what it's finished with. I mean, Civ Five did that. Some of the things that I get mad at in Civ Six are, are things that were already pre-existent in Civilization V. That, that's why I get upset, because it makes no sense to remove it. Or not remove it, but it, it makes no sense not to re-add it. Like, it... either way, I believe you were going down to Amsterdam. That's what I think I set you up to do. And you can do that again. 18 gold from this uh, this one trade route. So yeah, do it. Not only that, but what was it? 10 culture? That's perfect. All right, keep going. The Pantanal is the most complex intertropical alluvial plain of the planet. And perhaps the least known area of the world. Okay, so there's the pounce and all. Perfect. Uh, keep going. I don't think uh, Peter's over here. So, I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. <laughs> Last ditch effort, I'll send him straight down this way. If Peter's not down here, I don't know where the hell he is. And he could have been secluded to one city inland. But I'm hoping not. France just declared war on England. What a perfect freaking time you did that. God damn it, I wish you did that a long time ago. 
Chemists do not usually stutter. It would be very awkward if they did, seeing that they have times to get out such words as methyl ethyl amyl or phenelium. <laughs> awesome. All right. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I don't even want to pronounce this. I couldn't. Uh, but I, I'm surprised that he could. All right. Cool. So we unlocked uh, chemistry, which gives us the research lab and the AT crew, which is anti-cavalry. Yeah, so anti-tank, essentially. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try you out. And perfect. Petra has a big bazooka. Wonderful. Um, all right, come over here. In fact, you know what? You're going to sit right there. Because, yeah, holy shit. You do a lot of damage towards the city, so two of you will be perfect. All right, uh, declaration of war. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait one more turn. And the reason for that is because I want France to send all of their units on a track up towards London. Once that's done, I can declare war and come in for the flank. But, as long as they're distracted, I'm okay. So, let's get research. Let's work on, I suppose, uh, rifling. I thought I already set this up. Oh, no, I worked on chemistry, right. Of course. Okay, yeah, so we'll go up into rifling, finish that off. We're going to grab a... Sewer? No, we're going to work on an encampment, because I am not going to expand anywhere south of this. So we'll build an encampment right there. Perfect. Uh, you are in position. We can actually core you, and you know what? That sounds like a great idea. Rather than having two, let's just core it. So, let's see. You have 55 bombard strength and 43 melee strength. Uh, let's make sure we core this one. That's not what I wanted, but all right. Uh, 50, uh, 53 and 65. So it actually added an extra 10. So not quite doubled, um, but that's okay. That's that's still nice. Right, so observation balloon. We'll move him back, so just sit tight. Kill him, and you're done. The days of spears are done. Oh, Really? All right, I guess they have one more day left. <sighs> Again, like I said, one more chance to find him before I put this guy back on auto-explore. You can be a little bit faster. Thank you. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we declare war on France. So just in time for what I said was going to happen, you know, within two episodes. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.